Fjord's Woodshop is sponsored by Minimax and by I Would Like. Check out their products at iwouldlike.com. Okay, so all week I have been doing little things around the workshop. So I've been making chopping boards and that's what we're going to do today. A few ways that we could cut this out, we could just use a circular saw, you could use bandsaw, but I've actually got a new jigsaw through Bosch, which I'm testing out for them. So I'm just going to cut this down to length at least using this and just see how well this tool performs. Okay, so flattening these pieces is pretty easy if you have a nice wide jointer. So I have a 12 inch one. Yeah, so as is always the way, I've changed my mind again. And what I'm just going to do is put a very slight angle onto this straight edge. So instead of it being 90, uh, we'll probably take it to maybe 70-ish. So I'm just going to do that at the jointer. So that's just by angling fence. Here at the miter saw I'm just going to put some angles into the ends here. Right, just quickly we'll put a chamfer on the inside of those holes using the router. So there they are. So I've sanded those up to uh, 180. They're nice and smooth all around. I've broke down all the corners with a little uh, bit of hand sanding as well. And now it's time for the best part of any chopping board build and that is actually just applying the oil. So I always do it in this tub so I can kind of reuse the oil. So we just put a little bit on there. Okay, so I had that soaking in mineral oil for uh, well, pretty much overnight. And now what I'm going to apply is my breadboard butter. Now I did a video on how to make this uh, previously, so if you want to watch that, clear here. Uh, but essentially all it is is mineral oil or paraffin oil and beeswax um, blended together. So there it is, there my chopping board. So I let that sit in the butter for a, pretty much a whole day. So I left it all of Saturday. And now today I just came in with a couple of clean rags. I buffed all of the excess oil off. And as you can see, it has a really nice sheen to it. Really kind of deep grain impression. And it just looks really pretty. So as you can see in these shots here, the grain just pops and they're really quite special. So that's my method of making these uh, chopping boards or bread boards. Now I will be doing a couple of end grain chopping boards as well, which is a entirely different process. So keep an eye out for that video. But as a bread board or a cheese board, these things are just ideal. Easy to make, beautiful, people love them. And uh, these will actually all be going up on my Etsy store very shortly once I get all of the details ironed out. So like always, if you've enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all my weekly woodworking videos. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.